A wide fracture in the main road in Fountain St. Mark has left the road impassable, challenging residents to find alternative routes, which can be an inconvenience. Chief Technical Officer in the Ministry of Works, Johnson St. Louis, spoke on possible solutions to repair the damaged road. Um, as you would have seen, there had been a great subsidence of that um, roadway there, almost 50% of the road width and adjoining area has subsided. Um, this is due to well, type of soil, you know, the whole mechanics about soil and water. So we'll have to, first of all, we have to look at a two-phase approach, a very immediate to that um, the commuters can move through motorists, although it's not a very high traffic road. So we'll have to, as we speak, I have my officers up there, they will have to um, excavate and take off some of the soft soil and backfill with boulders for a temporary solution. In fact, cutting on the embankment to make it motorable. But the long-term solution will be to construct a retaining wall, ensuring that the retaining wall sits on hard core rock and take off some of the soft soil with granular boulders up until the surface for asphalt, asphalt treatment. Mr. St. Louis says funds given by the UK SIF project will be used to restore the road. Well, we're looking, I mean, it will be a combination of funds from local um, or government of Grenada. And normally, when you have those um, disasters like that, you always get um, an immediate funding from the Caribbean Development Bank, you know, to, to, to take care of those cleanup and immediate action, you know, for communities that are being affected, you know, by the hydrometrical um, problems like heavy rains and, and so forth. He's assuring residents that the work will be done speedily yet effectively to make the road accessible to pedestrians and motorists. Rene Toussaint, GBN News.